What's up guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the AIA Beauty Bundle for February of 2022. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. talking about AIA Beauty Bundle. Now this is one of my favorite subscriptions that I get because it focuses on one brand. So instead of getting multiple different products that you probably already have, there is one specific brand every month featured in this subscription. So when you open it up, it says be strong and be beautiful and be you. So that's on the top. We've got our protective covering right here, protecting all of our products. There is a sneak peek for you. First thing on top I'm pulling out here is the product information card that tells us about the products that are featured in the box, all the prices and everything. And in February's brand that's featured is Jason Wu Beauty. Now, I don't know much about this brand at all because I've, I've never used it. I've never seen it. If you guys have ever used this brand, please comment down below. Let me know what you think of the products. I'm actually excited that I don't know anything about this because it's something new, it's something different, and I like that. First thing I'm pulling out is the Magic Matte Oil. This product looks interesting. I really, really am excited to try this because I've never used something like this before. I have used face oils, and most of the time I use it to remove my makeup, but this one I think I'm gonna actually try as a primer like for my, my makeup because it dries down to a matte. So I think that it would work really well. It's also cruelty-free, it is sulfate-free, paraben-free, a vegan product, synthetic fragrance-free, which is important, and talc-free as well. Definitely think that this is a really good product to try, especially if you've never used an oil that dries down to a mat. I mean, that's like a whole new thing for me. This is 0.68 fluid ounces of product, and again, this is gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to trying next up we have the bush now this is a brow shaper soap this is also an interesting product to me this retails at 14 dollars, and this is a vegan formula and this is basically going to help tame unruly brows the vegan formula brow soap to groom and create natural fuller looking brows i don't know if that's going to work for me because i don't have many brows to begin with i feel like to have those perfect brows that look fuller you have to have brows and, and i don't really have any i just draw them on i have a little i have a little bit to work with but not as much as i wish i did i was getting my brows threaded for years like in my 20s and they just started falling out and it was also back in the day when thin brows were in so i had thick brows and i had them threaded down to thin and it just never really grew back the same so I just, right now, I just kind of let them do their thing and I'm trying to find brow serums and things to try to help them maybe grow in a little bit more, but none of that stuff has ever really worked for me. So I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna see if this might help make them look a little bit thicker, but it just looks to be like a wax. And I already have a wax from Patrick Ta that I use that I really like. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But it does come with a mirror and there is the soap. So it's not, not bad, an interesting product for sure. This product requires a mist to activate the product before use. And then they suggest using their Mr. Soap Star, but there's no spray in this box. So that is one thing that I can say that I don't like is that if you're gonna put a product, right, that needs another product to activate it, and you're trying to promote that product and those two products to work together, why don't you have that other product featured in the box. Then we could use the soap and the spray together to get the full effect of what this can do. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't understand why that they wouldn't include that spray mist in here. I mean, it says you can use water as well, but I just kind of feel like I want to use it to its full potential. And to do that, I now I have to go and buy that spray if I want to try this. So I don't know. The next thing that I do want to show you guys is a nine color eyeshadow palette. And I think this is called Matte Agave. It's the Flora Nine palette. And let's go ahead and take a look at the shades themselves. Now there's no mirror, but that's okay with me. I'm fine with that. And there are our nine pans right there. Very pretty shades, very neutral. You can definitely take this from day to night. I personally probably would just wear this during the day. When I go out at night, 
I want more of like a smoky, like darker look. Like this is not gonna achieve what I would do. I mean, if I was just going out to dinner or something, I probably would use this, but I feel like this is more for me personally, like a daytime or like a afternoonish type of thing. If I was going to like a happy hour or something, you know what I mean? I do wanna see the kind of pigment. This is me going in three times with one of the more neutral shades. So not bad. Would I purchase this? I mean, for $15, why why not? You know, it's not bad. It's it's a good size, it's travel friendly, but I would not wear these for nighttime looks. I just feel like, I don't know. I've got a lot of neutral palettes and I really don't feel like I need something like this, but it's, it's something new, so why not? So this was a more like a uh, yellow shade that was in the, in the palette. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but this one's not so bad. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't even know. I have so many neutral palettes. I feel like I get so many of those in subscription boxes. I purchase them on my own. And like one of the palettes that I use a lot that has neutral shades in it is the Dominique Cosmetics Transition um, palette. Another one that I use that has a lot of neutrals is the, I'm not gonna say this on YouTube, but the Jeffree Star O-R-G-Y palette, the big one. I have that one that I use. I mean, I just got a lot of neutral shades. All right, let's go ahead and move on. We've got the Saved by the Patch Pimple Patches. 36 patches in the box. I don't really use this kind of stuff only because I don't really break out a lot. I mean, every so often, like if I'm stressed during my time of the month, I might get like a hormonal breakout like down here or whatever. I don't know how these work because I've never used them, but I am willing to try it. So these do retail at $12 and it says here that they are blended with tree oil and salicylic acid. They are transparent and waterproof, giving blemishes protection by blocking out external pollutants and delivering essential ingredients like tea tree oil, grapeseed extract, and salicylic acid. I do like that they're waterproof and I do like that they are transparent. These are all separate. So you get three different packs and each pack has 12 patches in it. So you get three of them. And I love how this brand is vegan, cruelty-free, fault-free, sulfate-free, all of that. So there's all good ingredients and in everything that I'm showing you today. I really, really love that too. That's like huge. All right, we've got three products. Actually, I can't count. We've got four products left in the, in the uh, box. Next out of the box are two lippies and these are the Hot Fluff Lippies. It says Hot Fluff and Jelly Roll. And each one of these retails at $12. So these are nice shades they are weightless modern matte lipsticks that have been formulated to be easily blendable and feel just like skin each shade is designed to be universally flattering on all skin tones hot fluff is a multi-stick that can be used for lips eyes and cheeks hot fluff in jelly roll is a mulberry violet okay so this is the jelly roll shade let's take a look at that so this is the packaging for jelly roll and i do really really like the concept that you can use this on your lips, eyes, and cheeks. I love multitasking with one product. It's so great. Wow, this is a really good quality, by the way. And it even has the, oh wow. It even has a, his branding like on the lipstick. I don't know if you guys, get the camera's picking that up. It says Jason Wu on the actual lipstick itself. So that's really cool. But yeah, really, really a beautiful shade. Let me go ahead here and put this on. Oh, this feels good. I love this. I really like the formula on this one. And I like the shade a lot. Quality of this formula is just, it feels luxurious to me. I love it. Okay, this is a really pretty shade. So it's right there. Gorgeous. And I'm more of a gloss person. Like I don't really gravitate towards lipsticks much, but I really think that number one, it's a great price point at $12 per lipstick, but it's also a really beautiful matte and it's gonna look even better if you like put a top or like a clear gloss on it or like a more shimmery gloss, I think it would look like, stunning. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Oh, we've got some lip liners here. So this one is the Stay In Line Lip Liner Pencil. This is in the shade Royal. This is a soft and creamy lip liner pencil that's designed to fill, shape, or line the lips. It is infused with vitamin E, jojoba oil. It will keep your lips hydrated and nourished. This lip liner glides on smoothly and finishes into a matte. 
And I do think the price points on his products are really, really good. I mean, $10 for a lip liner. I mean, especially with good quality of lip liner, how can you go wrong? Oh my gosh, this matches the Eclair pretty much. Wow. And there we have the Royal Stay In Line Lip Pencil. This is beautiful. It is like a beautiful mauve shade, and this is definitely gonna complement a new lipstick really well. I'm really impressed, and the price point on all of these products I think is incredible. I mean, $10 for a lip pencil, $12 for a beautiful matte lipstick, $15 for a nine pan palette for eyeshadow. I mean, it's these products, they, they seem really great quality and really great pricing as well. We're on to our last product in the box, and this is also a lip liner. This is also the Stay In Line lip liner. This does retail at $10 as well, and this is gonna be in the shade Parisian Chick. Very, very pretty. I love this packaging, and I think that this so far is worth my $35. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and add up everything and see what the retail value is, but yeah, I'm definitely impressed. These are really, really great and they feel really creamy. So this is Parisian Trick. And then that was the one that I just showed you guys, Royal. And these lip liners are wonderful. So hopefully you guys can see this, this shade is just, it's pigmented pretty nice, I think. And it just feels really creamy. It glides on really smooth. And I think for 10 bucks, it's definitely worth it. Well, that wraps everything up for the AIA Beauty Bundle for February featuring Jason Wu Beauty. I'm impressed. I think it was a really good box. We paid $35 for the box. I'm about to add up the retail value for you guys. I am, I'm just really happy about it. I was a little nervous. When I saw spoilers, I was like, I don't know, is it gonna be worth it? Should I cancel it or pause it or whatever for the month? But I'm really glad that I didn't do that, that I got the box because I think the products are good. The price point is good. The one thing about AI Beauty I will tell you is that if you want a surprise, like you want a subscription box where you're not gonna know what's in it, then this isn't gonna work for you because <laughs> they will tell you, like you will know every single thing that's in this box before you get it. And it's one variation. So everybody gets the same thing but it's okay by me, I don't mind. I mean, I think it's a great subscription. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add this up real quick, let's see. But here is the retail value for the box. You guys ready? It's $101, I'm pretty impressed. I really like that we got this for February. I think this was a great February box. So let me know what you guys thought down below and yeah, I can't wait to see what next month brings. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit those post notification bells because you definitely don't wanna miss my weekly uploads. All right, you guys, I will see y'all in the next one. I hope you have a good night. Until next time, bye guys.